now available for the first time in paperback why 70 percent of black women are single learn all the reasons why so many black women can't find a husband and why 70 percent of black women are single get your copy of why 70 percent of black women are single on amazon.com today one of my viewers told me about a 19 year old girl who had been disowned by her grandmother for participating in a performance on the pornographic website ghetto gaggers now the ghetto gaggers website is a website where young black girls participate in sex acts with white men and in these sex acts they are forced to fillet penises until they vomit and while they are vomiting they are called the n-word they are slapped beaten and abused and in some cases have had their own vomit and filth practically smeared all over them during the performance now this 19 year old girl as i listened to the video regarding this subject on world star hip-hop as i was doing my own research really it her whole the way she was talking just practically made me shake my head because as i was listening to her argue with her grandmother regarding being disowned from the family i realized that i couldn't just sit here and say oh the grandmother is somebody who needs to be commended because as i see it the grandmother is also part of the problem now when i take a critical examination of this extremely dysfunctional 19 year old girl I go back to a video I watched almost about 10, 12 years ago by a YouTuber who's no longer here called Real Man Allen called Grandma's Lies and a Generational Curse. Now your Real Man Allen 73 back then talked about how your grandmother's lies lead to an intergenerational curse among young black girls and this whole incident with this young 19 year old girl is a textbook example of everything Real Man Allen 73 talked about all those years ago. Because while people want to sit there and commend the grandma for disowning this extremely dysfunctional girl, it was her inability to work with black men that created this generational curse. Because, because this grandmother could not work with the black men in the community towards protecting the mother there was nobody there to keep this granddaughter from being exploited by these white scumbags who practically took advantage of this girl. And the reason why she took advantage of this girl is because there was, she was in a matriarchal environment and there were no men in that community to protect her from this kind of exploitation. Now, as I was watching this extremely disturbing video, that this girl was talking in she was sitting there acting like she had accomplished something and when i looked at the way she was talking it just showed me how this girl was missing a father in her life because had she had a father in her life to sit there and give her some guidance and meet her emotional needs she would not be sitting here thinking participating in a pornographic website which is designed to degrade her by calling her the n-word and having men slap and abuse her and then make her sit in her own filth would be some sort of accomplishment no if there was a father in that girl's life he would be giving her the love that she needs he would be sitting there meeting her emotional needs and he would be the one man that would show her an example of true manhood and that example of manhood would show, go out here and show her her own sense of self-worth give her a sense of self-esteem and give her a sense of value as a woman and she would go out here and understand that going and participating in ghetto gaggers is not an accomplishment for a young 19 year old girl because i remember when i was 19 i had just came out of high school and i was going to college 
and I was going there so I could focus on accomplishing on getting a degree, but in your matriarchal environments where there are no fathers around, what happens is the young girl does not get taught a sense of self-worth and it doesn't get reinforced by the father. So you've got a young black girl running around here with no self-esteem and sitting here believing that, oh, I went out here and I'm going to do ghetto gaggers and it's going to be some sort of accomplishment. When every man out here of character like myself, we know that going on ghetto gaggers is not an accomplishment. And as somebody who knows the entertainment industry and the adult entertainment industry, I know that participating in your ghetto gaggers is practically putting a nail in the coffin as related to anything as related to not only the entertainment industry, but the adult entertainment industry, because nobody wants anything to do with performers who participate in that type of deviant sex. And basically, this young woman does not understand. She has practically destroyed her own life. And that's due to having no maternal guidance from her mother, no guidance from her grandmother, and no guidance from a father who would have sat his daughter down and told her that this pornography you're going to participate in, this is going to destroy your life. Because the only girls who participate in this type of porn are the ones who are desperate for our attention because they have not received the love of a father. And that's what happened in the case of this girl. She never got the love of a father. And now she's going to think that she's accomplished something and when she hasn't accomplished anything at all except sacrificing the intangibles of her womanhood for a lousy $2,000. Now, that's what she's so proud of as related to participating in this ghetto gaggers porn. She's sitting there bragging about the fact that she made $2,000 participating in one sex scene where two, she's with these two white guys. And when I look at this girl, again, she is so young and so naive, she doesn't understand that, that $2,000 is nothing compared to the intangibles she has lost. Now, what this girl doesn't understand is that a woman has several intangibles of womanhood, and she ha and this poor girl has compromised all of them just to get a little attention from some white men who wanted to exploit her so that they could go out here and make thousands more in subscriptions on their trash tier website. So what this girl has done, she has sacrificed her dignity, she has sacrificed her self-respect, she has sacrificed her self-worth, she has sacrificed all of her intangibles as related to her character, all so that she could get five seconds of not even fame because the porn industry practically sifts through girls like this who are naive and have no father in their life, like wheat, like flour through a sifter, and they get thousands of these girls practically every day that they go out here and exploit. So this girl has sacrificed all of her intangibles of character, all so that some, she could go out here and have sex with some white men on camera, and she sacrificed that intangibles of character so that she can be beaten and slapped and called an n-word on camera and she sadly thinks that this is an accomplishment but this shows how much of a failure her parents were in instilling a sense of self-worth in this young 19 year old girl they did not teach her that she has a value as a woman and that there are certain things a woman does not do for any amount of money because your intangibles of character, these are things that are not supposed to be for sale. And sadly, this girl sold them all away. And she doesn't understand the moral slippery slope she's going to be on after making this kind of compromise. And she also doesn't understand the damage she did to her reputation because now at this point, most men are not going to see her as a woman they would want to make a wife. No, she is now 
forever on the road of the prostitute. And that's what she did when she took that $2,000 for participating on that site, Ghetto Gaggers. Because what this girl didn't understand is that the women who are a part of the porn industry, many of those women, those are strippers and prostitutes. And the reason why they do porn is to supplement their business in the adult entertainment industry. And that business is really at the bottom because that two grand that you got for a performance, that's small change compared to the real entertainment industry, where in some cases, extras get paid $2,000 for just a couple of hours of standing around. And many of those extras don't even have to sacrifice any of their dignity or self-respect just for standing in the background of a major feature film. But because this girl never got taught how the entertainment industry worked because there was nobody there to teach her, she thought that this was going to be a, 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 a leg up. But the whole thing is, this is a step down, and it's a step down into the sewer. Now, this girl, as I was watching the video again, she was sitting there thinking, oh, I made $2,000, and it was some sort of accomplishment. But you can make $2,000 in two months working retail and part-time, and you can go out here and make that two grand and still have your intangibles of character, and you can still have your self-respect. I mean, yeah, the work is going to be hard. The work is going to be rough. But you come out of that work with some sense of accomplishment, and that's something that this girl never got because nobody ever gave her the love that she needed and she's thinking oh i've done something and not understanding you've done something to practically destroy your reputation and you've destroyed everything as related to your character you've compromised your character and that's something this poor 19 year old girl has done and again, people want to sit here and praise the grandmother, but I can't praise the grandmother for disowning this girl because had she been a good teacher to her daughter, her daughter would have been able to pass down a culture that would have prevented her granddaughter from being this dysfunctional. No, had this grandmother sat down and taught values to her mother, those values would have been passed down to that girl. And that's why I say, oh, you, when it comes down to this grandmother, she's just as equally accountable for this dysfunction in this granddaughter as the father is of this, of this black girl because all of the parents in this case practically failed this young girl. And if your child is sitting here your legacy and your progeny is sitting here talking about ghetto gaggers is some sort of accomplishment, then you should all be embarrassed by this person because the father has failed, the mother has failed, the grandfather has failed, all of you have practically failed this child. And for you to sit there and think that it's just one person disowning this person is a good thing. No, I say the entire family needs to hang its head in shame because you were supposed to be there to teach this girl about how the world works. You were supposed to give this girl guidance and you were supposed to give the, instill in this girl a sense of self-esteem and a sense of self-worth so that she would not be out here and thinking the attention from anybody outside is good attention and would be able to differentiate between good attention and bad attention because what was extremely disturbing here to watch was seeing this girl getting happy about these white men getting her an uber and driving her around her getting excited about how big these white men were in, in comparison to her i mean she was getting emotional happy about being in the presence of these men giving her attention and being in their presence and that again shows me that this girl never had a father in her life and that's the saddest part about this whole thing 
she's sitting there thinking that this attention, because she never got attention from a man, was good attention. And she's sitting there thinking, oh, because they allegedly went out of their way to get her an Uber and take her back was a good thing. When in actuality, these men were sending her an Uber and taking her back because they wanted to use and abuse her body and they wanted to degrade her as a person. But she's sitting here thinking that it's an accomplishment because a man went out here and did something for her and that's something a father needs to do for his daughter so that she doesn't go out here and wind up in situations with predators like this who believe it is their right to go out here and take advantage of a young 19 year old girl who basically is a child who does not know anything about the world because again I remember when I was 19 and I was at Monroe College I didn't know much about the world all I wanted to do was go out here get my comics and then go out here and do the work in my classes and sadly there was nobody here to set this girl on a road to focusing on a more constructive set of goals because that's what a father does he sets his daughter on a road for success and I have to ask a critical question I wonder if any of these ghetto gaggers owners or performers how would they like it if somebody took advantage of their daughter the way they exploit other people's daughters how would these guys feel if somebody decided to take their little white daughters and then have some burly black men go out here and exploit them the way that they do how would these guys feel if their daughters were sitting here making a video like this saying that it's an accomplishment acting like and acting like it's an accomplishment i mean that's the kind of thing that many of these people who make this type of content really don't think about they don't mind taking our black girls out of our community and degrading and humiliating them because they want to make a little bit of change and they don't even make that much money because in that porn industry i've learned has practically crashed since 2011 so that two thousand dollars that that she makes and a couple of thousand they're going to make on that video that's pennies on the dollar compared to what this girl lost to go out here and participate in this kind of content this girl practically lost her dignity she lost any sense of self at all and even worse this is going to follow her on the internet forever because whatever you post online that is going to be online forever and that is the saddest part about this whole situation you have a 19 year old girl who's going to look back at her life probably at 30 or 40 after she has been further exploited either in the porn industry or by some white dudes or some pookies she's going to be looking at her life and realizing that this was the point where she was starting on the road to rock bottom and she cannot get turned things around because she went out here and had nobody to give her guidance nobody there to give her support and nobody there to sit there and talk to her like a man would because any man of character he's gonna sit down with a young woman and he's gonna sit down and tell her that she is somebody who deserves to be loved she is someone who should be looking to get love from others and give love to others and if a girl loves herself she needs to understand that she has a worth in this world and she needs to understand that you don't sell your intangibles of womanhood to anyone for any price and this woman practically again sold hers for two thousand dollars and again two thousand dollars is something that can come and go if you're working on a job and you know and the whole thing is you can make two thousand dollars a hundred different ways I mean you can work fast food you can work retail or you can even work YouTube and get yourself um, your channel monetized there's hundreds of thousands of ways to make two thousand dollars and keep your dignity and sadly this girl did never learn about the value of self or the worth of self and that is the thing that is most troubling about 
this whole video. And again, everybody wants to celebrate the grandma, but it was the grandma who, who created the generational curse that has taken her entire family's legacy to rock bottom. Now, if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. And if you want to learn why so many girls like this wind up dysfunctional like this from generation to generation, you can pick up my book, Why 70% of Black Women Are Single, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find why 70% of black women are single in, on, on the iTunes, the Smashwords, and Google Play. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available for pre-order on Kindle. Stop simping in cyberspace. Learn how to avoid predatory females in their virtual con games with Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Pre-order your copy of Stop Simping in Cyberspace on Kindle today.